the material, it's, it's barely there. So I'm basically showing up and uh, scrambling. It's embarrassing. I struggled a week ago on stage like I hadn't in years. And what it did do was put a fire under me. Because I was like, I'm horrible. I'm horrible at what I do these days, so I need to work on this. Hey, welcome to Hot Dots. Thanks. Um, this film is incredibly intimate, the portrayal of you. Your comedy is incredibly intimate. What was sort of harder, getting on stage or actually seeing yourself in the documentary? Uh, the documentary. It wasn't just seeing myself, it was actually being documented. That was hard, because when I was first approached about doing this film, I had thought, well, I've already been through the worst in my life, so sure, document me on my way up and everything going well, and then I forgot that life gets going and swings back and forth, and, and they were there to catch all the good and the bad all over again, and I, you know, saying I'm going to do this movie, I wanted to really commit to it, and so I didn't want to turn them away in any of the intimate times. I mean, that's one of the challenges about a documentary like this, is you don't want to, you don't want to have the filmmaking get in the way with your own life. You don't want you to be changing because the documentary is there. Right. But did you find in certain moments, you're like, I just want to be by myself right now, could you turn off the fucking camera? Yeah, the whole film. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I I definitely really struggled at moments because I, I really wanted to say, go away, you know, and then I, I really stayed committed to um, making the best film that we could make. Because I didn't want the end result to be just one note. Uh, I felt like it had the potential, if people were moved by my album or my story, I felt like this would have the potential to have the comedy and the emotional aspect and the inspiring aspect and, and I didn't want to have any regret later where when I'm watching it I'm like, you know, I would have shown that and it would have been more. It's fair to say you had a kind of shitty three months, or a few months. Four anyway. months. Four months. Yeah. Um, given everything that happened in such a short period of time, and you're sort of coming out of it on the other end, did you find that your comedy itself changed? Obviously we know about the one performance, but do you think that your outlook on, on your idiom, on comedy itself, changed because of your illness and everything else that transpired? Definitely, because... I was always honest in my comedy, even though it wasn't tremendously personal, until I shared everything in 2012 at Largo. Um, and it taught me, not just in my comedy, but in life, to communicate and express myself. And it opens everything up. My relationships, my friends, my family, my opportunities, my career, my my mind, my comedy, everything just starts opening. And there's never a time where somebody would say, oh, you know, if you just would have... I mean, I guess there's moments where it's good to hold back things, but that's very specific and not what we're talking about. But, but sharing and being open is um, its a, a huge strength. One of my favorite parts of the film might not be everybody's, but it's uh, unfortunately you're in the hospital bed, and Sarah Silverman is, uh, is working on her shtick. Yeah. And you make a joke and want recognition for your joke, yeah, and yeah. she makes a joke like this is about me. Right. And I think this is an incredibly pure moment of comp of stand up. Yeah. Of that, whatever's going on, at some point in time, you're the one on stage and you're the one demanding attention. Uh -huh. Given the fact that this film, in a very big way, brings the attention to you, does it in some way sort of energize you to see yourself on the screen this or is it still kind of daunting to actually see this all play out on the big screen? No, I I'm 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 proud of it, I'm comfortable with it. Um, it was harder actually filming it. Uh, when I finally saw the final cut and saw what the filmmakers had done, I was like 
it, it didn't even feel like it was about me anymore. It's like, gosh, guys, good job. But, you know? That's exactly what I'm getting at. I'm wondering is at some point in time, does it seem like not the events happen to somebody else, but that there's someone else on the screen going through this incredibly dramatic arc. It's an incredibly cinematic film. There's highs, there's lows, there's the beginning, middle, and end. Yeah. Does it feel sometimes that you get kind of watching it as a movie and forget that you're the one that went through the pain? Uh, a little bit, here and there, <laughs> you know, and then I'll see myself. <laughs> I'll be like, that, that person looks vaguely familiar. Um, but yeah, uh, there's, there's a little bit of that, but... Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking back to that moment with Sarah that's, uh, that is a pretty ridiculous. Um, it, but yeah, it's great. It's, 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 it's absolutely yeah. in keeping, I think, with where you're going. And given that, stand up comedians obviously have traditionally been both very giving and, again, very insular. You were surrounded by a, a whole bunch of friends and a whole bunch of colleagues that were there to support you. Yeah. What was what was that sensation like? What was the what was that movement like? I felt like, and I still feel like, the luckiest unlucky person in the world. I really feel that way. I can't believe how that period of time was so brutal. I felt like any time I kind of got up. I, I got knocked down, like just brutally knocked down over and over, and I, um, I still, through it all, had friends, family, health insurance, money in the bank, you know what I mean? I, I had options and support, and it was still so brutal, and I think about people all the time that don't have or get to have the support that I had, and I... It honestly it gives me chills. Like when you ask me, it still I feel affected, and it gave me chills when you asked me what it was like to be lifted by everyone.